All right, so let's try another example along those lines. Example 1.4.6. I'm asked to simplify this expression here. So I'm asked to simplify a dot. So there's a dot product and a cross product in this one. All right, so you might want to try first to distribute this in, but we don't know that the dot product distributes over the cross product. In fact, it doesn't because it wouldn't make sense. You would end up with a cross product of two numbers, which doesn't exist. So what I will do is I would expand this, this right here, which is inside the square bracket. So I'll leave the A alone up front. Um, I'll do it carefully. So I'm going to take um, this as one vector and I'm going to distribute B and C on it. So I will get B cross C plus A plus C cross C plus A. And then I'm going to distribute again on the other sum. So I will get, I forgot the dot here. Be careful with these things. This will cost you a little penalties every time. So here I'm going to distribute the B in and the C in. So I will get B cross C plus B cross A plus C cross C plus C cross A. All right, so first things first, uh, this C cross C we've seen is zero right in this orange box that I'm gonna turn into a pink box. So V cross V is zero, double, uh, C cross C is the zero vector. So this part will disappear. And now we're left with this sum of three. I know that the dot product distributes over a a sum, so I will multiply each of them with A. So careful with the parentheses here. I have A dot B cross C plus A dot B cross A plus A dot C cross A. All right, so I've expanded as much as I could. Now, is there anything that I can do uh, let's see, there's one property left that I haven't used yet and I want to show you how to use it in this example. Anytime the vector that you have dotting is inside the cross product, either as the first or the second of the two vectors, you end up with zero because V is perpendicular to V cross W. That's actually what we computed in the proof. And so here I have A and A, so that part will be zero. This is A and A, so that one will be zero as well. So what I end up with is just A dot B cross C. All right, again, I was careful here when I distributed, I took two different steps to get from here to here. Um, if I ask you to justify every step, you would have to do this. But if I leave it like this, it'd be fine if you wanted to use this takeaway. So in takeaway seven, it says that we can expand cross product, but we have to be careful not to switch the order of the vectors as V cross W is not W cross V. So if you have something like this to expand, A plus B cross C plus D, when you expand, you have to make sure to leave A on the left. So here A was on the left, so it stays on the left. Same thing for B. B is on the left, so it stays on the left. And everything that's on the right stays on the right.